Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty excited today. I'm going to be showing you what I've done so far for the augmented reality game. I basically went through and added physics to all the components that are going to be available in the game and also started creating some of the bombs that we're going to be using to demolish the building. So let me get to Unity and let's jump in and let me show you what I've done so far. Alright guys, so this is a scene that I have so far and I've been working on in the last couple of days. So I show you in previous videos how to build the dynamites and also the walls and basically everything that you see in this level. So what I've been working on is actually the the you know adding rigid bodies to the to the walls and, and, and playing around with some of the physics settings. So I can show you how the walls are set up. I have a, a box collider associated with all the walls. I also have a physics material, which is very simple. It just has basically friction and dynamic friction set to 0.8. And I also have a rigid body assigned. I have a mass set to 1, a drag set to 0.5, an angular drag set to 0.05. Of course, I have gravity set to, set to on. And I also have continuous dynamic setting because uh, what was happening is the the dynamite collider was going through the wall, so this prevented that from happening. And it might impact in performance, but I'm, but I'm okay with that performance hit, hit for now. So let me show you how the... So I'm going to disable all the... basically all the dynamites. So I want to show you the physics. So if I hit play... And you can see that the ceiling was, was kind of shaking. So if I were to, if I were to to move the walls out, maybe we can do. So you're gonna see how everything is falling apart, and I didn't have to do much work. This was fairly easy. I just had to tweak a lot of a lot of the settings until I was happy with the results. And it looks like everything. We can try that one more time. So I'm gonna hit play, and let's actually let's just take more parts out. So you can see the building falling. So physics are, are working great. So now if we go back to, let's actually enable all the dynamite triggers. And the, the way that this works is after two seconds, they're gonna, they're gonna basically explode. So I'm gonna hit play. And there we go. So we, we got a huge explosion. And if we only, let's say that we only have one dynamite, say that we only do the one on the very bottom and we wait two seconds and we still have a big explosion except that we didn't destroy the entire building so that, that's basically the idea of the game is that you have to place the bombs in, in the dynamites in the in the correct spots around the around the buildings in augmented reality so the way that I did the bombs is I want you to pay attention to how the collider is expanding so if I hit play one more time You'll hopefully see, there we go, see how that collider expanded, and that's how I'm mimicking the explosion. So let me show you how, so if I double click on the bomb script. So I have a few settings in here, so I have intensity, you know, how long I want to wait until I do the explosion, when do I want to destroy it, the, the increment that I do on the Y and Z axis for the collider. I also have a basic timer, a boolean, so that I don't explode many times, and then the max intensity. So I basically do this in the update because I'm not dealing with rigid, rigid bodies or any physics. I'm not applying forces. Otherwise, you could use the fixed update. So what, what happens here is after, you know, after two seconds, if I haven't exploded, I, slow, I do a slow motion. I set the time scale to half of a second. I get the max intensity. And then I, you know, I set, uh, I explode it, so I don't do that again. And then I call the explode command, the explode method. So now if we go to the declaration, then I get a reference to the box collider, and then I determine if I reach the max intensity. If I haven't reached the max intensity, what's going to happen is this is going to be slowly incrementing on the y and z axis. If I reach the ma max intensity, that means that I'm done. So I basically spawn the fire burst 
which is basically an explosion. And I, I set that to be in the place of this game object. So, so we have the same, that position. And then I destroy the game object after you know, that, that many seconds. In this case, it's after one second. So this is fairly simple. I still have a lot of work to do here. So let me go back to the game. So if I were to, if I, if I wanted to change some of these settings, I could easily change the intensity. Let's say that I wanted to do an intensity of or maybe of six. We might be able to destroy the building completely. So we can hit play and wait for two seconds. And we did destroy the building. You can, you probably saw the huge box collider. And we could also do something like, you know, if I wanted to, if I wanted to destroy it right away, we can set that to zero. If I wanted the explosion to happen maybe immediately, maybe 0.25, then when I hit play, you're gonna see that the explosion happens right away. And it happens right away. We could actually clone this one, maybe right there, and hit play. And you can see that we destroy the entire building. So if this was a level, we would have won. So that's what I have so far for the physics. The, the other things that I'm working on is I'm working on the, of course, this is a, a scene that is gonna work for, you know, a non-augmented reality game or an augmented reality device. And that's why I call this one AR physics post-process because it has kind of a, a look and feel and it's great for me to, for testing. I also have one scene that I'm doing that I'm doing testing. So this is a scene that is actually going to work in augmented reality, and and I have basically all the AR components attached. I have the Unity AR camera manager. I'm using the Focus Square scene that Unity plugin provided. So it basically has the the plane detection and the UI components that I need to do to, to do the detection. So I'm using that same scene. I just cloned that scene and basically brought in my, my building. And when the augmented reality finds a plane, I enable the default building at that position. So I'm gonna be adding a lot more logic and components to this game. Right now, you know, if you notice, I, I have the dynamites at a specific positions, but I don't want that. That's not how the game is gonna be. The way that it's gonna work is the game is gonna start without you know any dynamites. So you'll be able to place you know these buildings in any areas that you have that you want using your AR in your phones. And then once the building is constructed, what I'm gonna allow you to do is I'm gonna allow you to select which wall, where you wanna place the dynamites. We might have some open areas where you actually have to go in with your phone and place the bombs inside the buildings because that's the only way that you're going to be able to destroy the buildings. So that's all I have for now, guys. I'm going to keep working on it. But if you have any questions about, you know, what I just covered or, or like to learn more about this game, let me know through the comments. And don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, guys.